Have you purchased illegal drugs in the last two years? Yes, I have. Crack smoking mayor of Toronto, ladies and gentlemen, Rob Ford. Just... This has everything you want, and uh, he was uh, the city council is grilling the guy. It turned out that at one point he had hookers in the mayor's office. Boy, I did not see that coming. The mayor of Toronto, now he's admitted uh, that he bought crack, <laughs> and now he may be forced to take a leave of absence, which raises the question, uh, what the hell does he have to do to get fired? I mean, <laughs> consider this crack thing a warning. No more crack. As if the crack smoking wasn't enough, yesterday a police report came out with all manner of allegations, including a prostitute, coke. Rob Ford is like your drunk uncle that is fun but you're just getting old enough to realize it why your parents never let him take you anywhere by himself uh, ford addressed the new allegation Toronto city council meeting today and the best part is he did it in a football jersey no one but no one is going to accuse me of having escorts and doing lines of cocaine at a bar and former staffers saying, I'm making sexual advances to my other staffers. I'm not going to put up with it. My wife is well aware of it, and I'm not going to put up with it. And unfortunately, I have to take legal action, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Enough is enough, guys. Enough is enough. Come on, guys. That was the weirdest halftime locker room speech I think I've ever seen. Rob Ford said yesterday that he sees himself as, quote, a positive role model for kids. <laughs> you know, because it's not like he stole the crack. He paid, he paid for it. I mean, like, the economy is hurting right now. You have to pay for your crack. Weird behavior, a lot of drunken stupors, a use of uh, drugs, and uh, now the hookers in the uh, mayor's office. And he, he's got a pretty excuse. Uh, he was wired on crack. That's... <laughs> That's the excuse. He was hopped up on crack. Right? <laughs> Three is speaking to reporters in another spot, and I want to apologize in advance for some of the language the mayor is about to use. Oh, and the last thing was um, Olivia Gondek. It, it says that I wanted to eat her p the Olivia Gondek. I've never said that in my life to her. I would never do that. I'm happily married. I've got more than enough to eat at home. Thank you very much. from suing everyone to the football rivalry and then right into oral sex. Somewhere in a basement through his tears, Anthony Weiner is going, what the it, 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 it is official. It is official. Toronto Mayor Rob Ford is officially the best. He is the best. This guy is unbelievable. He's provided me with so much entertainment this week, I feel like I should pay him a subscription fee, like HBO. Have you purchased illegal drugs in the last two years? <laughs> Top ten thoughts going through Rob uh, Ford's moment of mind at that very moment right there. Number ten, is he talking to me? Number nine, oops, number eight, yes, and I'd like some now, number seven. What would a crack-smoking Winston Churchill say? Uh, number six, uh, no questions about Newfoundland. Number five. And number five. Uh, I don't remember. You should be talking to my crack dealer. Number four. I'm not an addict. I'm just stupid. Number three. Crack, 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 crack. Uh, number two, uh, what answer gets me to Dairy Queen fastest? <laughs> and the number one thought going through Rob Ford's mind at this moment, help me, Canadian Jesus. <laughs>